Vice President Kamala Harris walked a scrubby stretch of fence line along Arizona's border with Mexico on Friday, making her first visit to the international boundary since becoming the Democratic presidential nominee as she confronts one of her biggest vulnerabilities ahead of the November election. Harris chatted with local Border Patrol leaders about securing the area as they strode along a rust-colored stretch of wall built during Barack Obama's presidency. Temperatures neared 100 degrees. Later, she was expected to call for further tightening asylum restrictions, moving beyond President Joe Biden's policy on an issue where her rival, former President Donald Trump, has an edge with voters. Trump and his fellow Republicans have pounded Harris relentlessly over the Biden administration's record on migration and fault the vice president for spending little time visiting the border during her time in the White House. Harris will outline her plan to crack down further on asylum claims and keep the restrictions in place longer compared to the executive order that Biden signed this summer, according to a campaign official who spoke on condition of anonymity because Harris had not yet made the announcement. The official briefed reporters aboard Air Force Two on route to Arizona. Harris arrived by helicopter in Douglas, where she met with Mayor Donald Hewish, Cochise County Sheriff Mark Daniels and County Supervisor and English, along with Senator Mark Kelly and Attorney General Chris Mays. Immigration and border security are top issues in Arizona, the only battleground state that borders Mexico and one that contended with a record influx of asylum seekers last year. Voters favor Trump on migration, and Harris has gone on offense to improve her standing on the issue and defuse a key line of political attack for Trump. In nearly every campaign speech she gives, Harris recounts how a sweeping bipartisan package aiming to overhaul the federal immigration system collapsed in Congress earlier this year after Trump urged top Republicans to oppose it. The American people deserve a president who cares more about border security than playing political games, Harris plans to say, according to an excerpt of her remarks previewed by her campaign. After the immigration legislation stalled, the Biden administration announced rules that bar migrants from being granted asylum when U.S. officials deem that the southern border is overwhelmed. Since then, arrests for illegal border crossings have fallen. Harris will also use her trip to remind voters about her work as Attorney General of California in confronting crime along the border. During an August rally in Glendale, outside Phoenix, she talked about helping to prosecute drug and people smuggling gangs that operated transnationally and at the border. The vice president's trip to Douglas thrusts the issue of immigration into the brightest spotlight yet less than six weeks before Election Day. Trump didn't wait for her to arrive there before pushing back. He pointed Friday to purported data about criminals entering the U.S. illegally in a bid to link Harris to violent crimes committed by migrants. In a scathing diatribe, he said blood is on her hands. Earlier in the week, he told voters that when Kamala speaks about the border, her credibility is less than zero. The Trump campaign has also countered with its own TV ads deriding the vice president as a failed border czar. However, estimates on how many people have entered the country illegally since the start of the Biden administration in 2021 vary widely. Harris also never held the position of border czar. Instead, her assignment was to tackle the root causes of migration from three Central American nations El Salvador, Guatemala and Honduras that were responsible for a significant share of border crossers.